Hey guys, welcome back to Food Inventory Adventures in Food. My name is Andrea, and our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, grocery hauls, recipes, and what's for dinner. And I am super excited today because I am coming to you with an HEB grocery haul. Now, HEB is a grocery store that is based in San Antonio, Texas. But in my area of Texas, we don't have um, these stores at all. And so whenever I visit family in South Texas or in the Hill Country, I love to go to HEB. And so I was in South Texas for my cousin's wedding and there was an HEB. And so I um, had Howard take me to HEB so I can pick up some of my favorite things. So I am going to jump in right now and show you everything that I picked up. So one thing I will tell you about HEB is, um, like I said, it is a grocery store that is based here in Texas, but um, they have a lot of their own store brand, store brand products like this, for instance. Um, so this is Texas Sheet Cake. I don't know if you guys have ever had it before, but it is so good and it's really popular around here. And I have bought their baking mixes before and they're pretty good. So this is a new one for me, Texas Sheet Cake, and it comes with the frosting and the cake. There are four pouches in here, but the four pouches are enough for just one cake. So I got that. And then I also got some spicy charro beans, again, H-E-B brand, and some sweet and salty almond bars, again, H-E-B brand. Hill Country Fair, that's also H-E-B brand, and I got some saltines. And then I got two stir fry mixes, again, H-E-B brand. Um, these are ready in 15 minutes. I got the toasted sesame with soy, ginger, and garlic. And then I also got some just stir fry with soy sauce, rice, vinegar, and sesame oil. And you just add your own meat and vegetables in this sauce. This is new for me. And then I also got some two alarm chili. And I get this here locally in my store. Um, this is not something that's exclusive to um, HEB, but it was a lot cheaper. I wanna say this, these were like $1.60 something a box. And then I think I was most excited to see this Skinny Pop microwave popcorn. So of course I have found it here locally, but um, this is new. So usually they sell these for about $4 a box and you get three little packages of the microwave popcorn. And when you pop them up, they come up in a little bowl. Well, these boxes are new. And these are actually, let me find it for you. Here it is. These are in the bag. So I was excited to see that, chemical free lined bags, and you get six of them. So this box was $3.98, which normally three in a box is $3.98, plus they had a coupon on each box. So I got these two boxes of Skinny Pop microwave popcorn for $2.98 each, so I was really excited about that. I also got some Famous Dave's Cornbread Mix. Um, I've made this before um, on a What's For Dinner, and Howard really likes it. It's pretty good, but it's super sweet, a lot sweeter than I'm used to, even sweeter than Jiffy Cornbread, but he likes it, so we got a box. And then this is something that I'd never seen before. It's Lamb's. Again, made in Texas, cornbread, uh, sweet southern cornbread mix. So I love cornbread, so I wanted to give that a try. And then I got this lo mein seasoning mix. I guess I was hungry when I went. Um, but I don't remember seeing lo mein in our grocery stores. I've um, definitely had Sunbird before, but not necessarily the seasoning mix, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed these strawberry fruit crisps and they are just dried strawberries, and these were at the checkout stand, and I wanted to try them. And then, um, these are not exclusive to HEB. I've bought these from different places before, and I really liked them a lot, but they were cheaper in HEB. Cookies on tour, and they are a really crunchy 
cookie. Um, and they are vanilla biscuits. And I don't remember. Made in Germany. But these things are really good. They're like a really crunchy, crispy butter cookie. And then I really like HEB's trail mixes. And this one was new for me. I mean, since the last time I've shopped there was probably, which was probably a year ago. And this is Netty Bliss. And here's what it looks like. And it has peanuts, um, well, honey roasted peanuts, yogurt flavored peanuts, dark chocolate raisins, butter toffee peanuts, and praline pecans. I don't really care for raisins, but if they're mixed with something, I can eat them. And then I saw these milk chocolate covered almonds and those look good to me too. You guys know that I love sparkling drinks and this is Peach Bellini, it's an organic Italian soda. And then they have these organic blood red orange um, Italian sodas as well. And there are four in a pack. And then um, I saw, again, this is their store brand caramel corn never had this particular brand before but i do love caramel corn and then i just wanted to try some of their chips now these are just the individual serving size and i grabbed these at the checkout stand um, but these are ranch and then nacho cheese so they're knockoff doritos i think i may have had them before a long time ago but i don't remember what they taste like then they had cantaloupe on sale for 88 cents, so I grabbed one. And then I got some store brand organic marinara. And I got some store brand um, saucy Cajun cream sauce. So basically you just add pasta and meat to this. And then creamy, creamy poblano um, cream sauce. Again, you add pasta and um, protein if you'd like. And then I saw this Hawaiian barbecue sauce, it's spicy, and that looked good to me. And then the last thing that I grabbed was this Ken's Tableside Caesar. Of course, I know I can get Ken's here. It was on sale there, and it's a small nine ounce plastic bottle, and I've never seen Tableside Caesar. So it sounded good, and I wanted to give it a try. So anyway, this is everything that I picked up from HEB. Like I said, it is probably one of my favorite grocery stores. I wish they would come to our part of Texas, but I don't think that they are. So I'll just continue to go shopping there whenever I go visit family. So anyway, this is everything. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope that you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time.